Hello and welcome to this video. Today I am going to make a shadow box out of this packaging that I found. Now I'm not making a fancy shadow box with like colors and 3D objects. I'm just making one with plain paper. And I decided on a kind of foresty scene and for that I'm just painting the background black and add some light specks of green and dark green. Now I pre-sketched this scenery into my notebook and I'm using this as a reference on how wide and tall the objects will be. And I'm first starting off by making a tree and this tree base will be the largest one. And to get the slight 3D effect I'm going to add two more trees on top of it which gradually become smaller. And here you can see me sketching out the second tree and I'm using the first tree as a reference. And to help me get a smooth line, I'm just using the paper I just bent over and take this practically as a ruler. And then I mark out the size of the third tree and also sketch that out. Now after finishing the sketching I'm going to cut my trees out with an X-Acto knife and I'm not cutting the lines super exactly to my sketch here, I'm just trying to get this shape of a tree. As some of you may know, I own a plotter, but I really wanted to show that you don't need any fancy machinery to create a shadow box yourself. Now you don't even need this fancy cardboard box or frame or something like that. You can just use any cardboard box, like any packaging that you find to make a shadow box.
And then I just repeat the step for the other tree I want to have in my shadow box. While I'm constructing this, I'm also laying out my finished parts inside the shadow box so I know if everything will flip properly. I decided to make the front panel next and for that I'm just measuring out the width of my box with a piece of paper and then sketching out the bushes I want to be in front. After making this front panel I also added two bushes on the left and right hand side in the same manner as I did the trees. And the last thing I want to add in this shadow box is a bird bath. And I'm trying to make it look more 3D in just elevating the parts that also would be elevated in real life. Like for the bird bath it would be the stand that comes forth a bit since it's round and also the bowl. And that's everything I'm going to add. So now I'm using just some normal crafting foam, measuring it out and cutting some strips to put under the trees and under the bushes. And I'm going to cut up pieces that will still be hidden but support the paper enough to where it looks 3D. Now to really support this tree I'm also going to add a piece of foam under the leaves.
and when you add the next layer it helps when the pieces of, of foam are roughly in the same place uh, where the pieces of foam were for the last layer so that they can support each other. And after the first tree I'm going to add the second tree in the same manner and I'm also going to add the bird bath. Now for the bushes on the side I'm creating a support that is made out of a stack of four foam pieces since we have the foam piece that supports the large tree, uh, the smaller and the next smaller tree and then we have the foam piece on top to make the spacing for the bushes. So I need four pieces to elevate the bush and support it in the right height. And after I'm adding the bushes, I'm also going to add the front piece and then I'm finished. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope that it gives you some inspiration to make your own shadow box. And if you do, please make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see all of your creations. Now I also have a second one of those boxes and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I thought of maybe making a 3D shadow box scene with some clay, but I'm not too sure. So if you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments down below. Anyways, hope you have a great day. Bye!